This video will cover the removal and installation of a Singer Apollo bobbin case. We've taken the feed dogs out of this machine and, and put them aside so you can see the actual, actual operation a little bit better. Essentially, this bobbin case is used on probably 50 or 60 different Singer models. So it's a, it's a skill that you're going to want to have to master because you're going to take a lot of these out. What I did was just now is I, I slipped the position finger Oh, out of the way with the little screwdriver and that lets you take the bobbin case out. You'll see that it rides on this little lip cut into the hook. All the way around the hook this lip is cut in for the bobbin case to float in. And actually it butts up to this position bracket over here so that keeps it stabilized. Putting it back takes a little finesse. You come in at an angle and set it right onto the lip and move your Bracket back. Whoops, we're just a little bit off. I'm glad that happened because it'll show you what happens when you don't have it perfect. Front to back, that is. There it goes. And to test it, you want a little bit of play as you turn the wheel back and forth. You want a little bit of rocking left and right so that leaves the opening for the thread to come through. And basically that's the whole operation. We'll do it one more time quickly. Move the finger out of the way. Take the case out. Put the case back in. And move the bracket back over. Now I'm going to show you something I do that is uh, take some of the rattle and some of the rattle and some of the noise off of this case. I put a drop of oil here around nine o'clock once every tune-up and that takes the rattle out of the bottom of that case as you sew because these cases are plastic and they tend to rattle that's an inside uh, operation that we did we have done for many many years and it's not covered in any book it's just something our service center does on Apollo bobbin cases that is the end of the story so thank you very much